Hello, I'm Sharon and this is Stick and Stuff. Today we're going to be making some watery effect pictures. I'll show you what I mean. So here we go. Here's a picture. So we've got a flower and we've got the sun. We've got some clouds and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you'll need is some kitchen paper. This is a bit thin, so you could really do with some a little bit thicker, but it's fine. You can always get some and fold it in half, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Some coloured pens or paint. You can do this with paint. You need a spray bottle. And also, if you've got a tray, that would be quite good to just pop it in. If not, um, you could do with putting some plastic down on your table. So I've got an old tray and I've just folded some paper in half just to thicken it up a little bit. And you have to be you have to be careful but not too careful. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So we've got to draw a picture on. Now we can just do a pattern. So we could just do a circle in the middle. And I'm going to make that into more of a spiral. So you can do whatever you like on yours. Because this is your picture. Now I'm going to go around that again. Just being quite careful. So your grown-up might want to do this. You can do the fun part of spraying it. So we've done the middle. Now I'm going to use different colours. So we'll use some orange. So I'm going to continue that line, that circle on, that spiral. I'm going to go back in there. There we go, look. Doesn't matter if it overlaps. Bring it round. Bring this one round. Oops. And now we're going to get a different colour. So we want colours that are a little bit different to each other. We don't want them too similar because we want to be able to see when we make it all blur in together. When it all gets joined up. There we go. So the water will make it all spread out. Oops. I'm going to use this end. These pens are a little bit different and they have two thicknesses, which is quite good. So we're going to go in from there. I'm going to take that back around. Just be careful you don't rip the paper. There. So now I'm going to add another colour. So I'm going to do some patterns on the outside. Some leaf shapes, I think. There, all the way around. You can do whatever you like. You could do some leaves or you could do some a big... This looks a bit like a big flower now, doesn't it? Ooh. There we go. I'll just show you. So paint's good as well to do this with. I'm just going to put a little line in each one. Because when that water hits it, it'll make all the colour spread out. And I think we need to add another colour. So I'm trying to decide which colour I think would look best. So this is a slightly different orangey colour. There. There we go. So we've got a lovely pattern there. Now if you want to add anything else, I've got a nice dark colour now. Just gonna just gonna do another leaf shape, the end of each one of these. Oops. I quite like this pattern. So you could do this as well on paper. And keep it as it is but I think it's going to look really good when we spray it 
So I'm just going to move the lap back a little bit because we don't want to get it wet. And then you just get the spray. And you spray it. So I'm going to make sure that it's not wet in the computer. As you can see, the colours are all starting to spread out. And merge into each other. It's got to be quite wet. There, they're all spreading out. So I've actually got another one ready to show you me doing that as well, just to show you that you don't just have to do patterns, you can do an actual picture. So I'm just going to lay this on here. When they're done, if you just lay them somewhere to dry, so if you've got somewhere quite warm in your room, put them, that'd be quite nice. So here's a different one. This is a C scene. Just going to give it a spray. Watch those colours mixing. Stretching out, spreading out. Now, if you haven't got a spray bottle, you can just drip water on, but your grown-up will have to help you do that. And I think the fun part is doing this yourself. So there you go. It's all spreading, so it looks like an undersea watery picture. And this is an undersea watery picture, which is really good. So you leave them to dry, and when they're dry, they look like this. The one that I showed you to start with. There we go. Just leave them. They'll dry off. They look absolutely fantastic. So I hope you enjoy making those. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.